Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited. I know I say that I'm so excited in every other freaking video, but this one I truly am because I bought these Juvia's Place palettes, finally. And uh, this is the Masquerade Mini palette and this one is the Saharan palette. So these two are so freaking pretty. Now, I picked these up last month for my birthday as a gift to myself. These are so freaking beautiful. I'm not going to dwell too much into the palettes or do some swatches, but let me just show you. So it did come in a very good packaging. So I got these palettes directly from the website itself. They do have international shipping due to which this damn palettes are so freaking expensive like i'll come to that in some time but let me just show you the beauty of the palette so once you take it out of the carton it comes uh, kind of pretty good packaging i mean like it's protected and this is how the palette looks guys this is one of the most beautiful palettes i have ever laid my eyes on so these two rows right here they are perfect for colorful eye looks and i was looking for a palette where it is colorful plus the pigmentation is on point and this was it this is it and uh, if you see the last two rows it's more of a warm kind of beautiful brownie burgundy-ish, golden, white golden kind of shades. This was so freaking expensive because if you're in the US, it is pretty reasonable. Like this palette itself costed me like $20 and this one was $16. So it is fine if you're living in the States. Like if you're living in the United States, it's a beautiful, affordable palette. But if you are living internationally, I literally paid $20 $21 for shipping that is express shipping and then I was planning to buy just this one alone but then my eye went into the Saharan palette and oh my freaking god like look at this shade right here it is so freaking beautiful the red and the gold the gold is like everything just looking at this golden as well as a red shade I was like take my money <laughs> So I really, really loved it and trust me, I cannot wait to play around with it. So yeah, this is for another time. I'll quickly put in the screenshot of how much I had paid for this and this is without including the customs charges that I paid. So expensive but it was but a gift and it is worth it because of the pigmentation. Also, I saw this beautiful, beautiful swatch and I was so blown away by it. And by just looking at the swatches, I was like, it just sealed the deal for me. So that's the reason why I got the Masquerade Mini Palette. So a few videos back for the Flower Beauty Liquid Lipstick Swatches, which I will link it up below. Do not forget to check that out. Uh, for that, I was playing around with this Masquerade Mini Palette and I created this eye look. And one of my viewers, Joyata, this is for you. You had requested this eye look and here you go. So this is a very simple eye look that I had created with just a pop of purple at the lower lashes. So in the future, I will be creating more colorful eye looks. And if you want to see that, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload any videos. So yeah, let's jump into the eye look. All right, so right now I have already set my eyelids using the Maybelline Age Rewind as well as the RCMA Translucent Setting Powder. So let's zoom you guys in and start with this eye look. So for the crease, I'm gonna go with this color right here. Now with the same brush, I'm going to go with this shade right here. I'm 
I'm going to go over with this dark brown shade in the end. This one. And just add it a little bit in the corners, end corner of my eye. Now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just blend everything together. So I've taken some Maybelline Age Rewind on the back of my hands and uh, start cutting the crease. Alright, so the crease has been cut and now I'm going to go over with the shade Dahlia right here and I have not wet the brush but let's see how it is. Now I'm going to go back with Zulu this shade. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and blend everything out to remove the harshness. For the inner corner, I'm going to take this shade Giza, which is a beautiful white shimmery shade. So now for the pop of color and I'm going to go over with Makita, which is right here, this beautiful purple shade. So for this, I'm just using an angled eyeliner kind of a brush, it's just pretty thick. So I'm going to coat it. So I have completed the eyeliner, put in some mascara as well as some lashes and this is how the eye look looks. I think we have been too close for too long. So that is it for today's video you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on that bell button right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. As well as like this video and comment down below if you have any request. I'll try my best to have that done. As well as do not forget to follow me on my socials which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye. Cause I say, yeah, cause I say, yeah.